What is going on everybody? It is your host Fitz Miller back here with another video. Today we are going to Eurofest hosted by Southeast Euro Motorsports. Yeah. We went to the Volksfest show yesterday, which was just Volkswagens. Today is the all-inclusive Euro show. So yesterday we tried this new format, me walking around with a mic, my stream of consciousness, and interviewed some boomers. So gonna do about the same thing today. I'm really excited, turned out super well. If you have not watched the last video, go check it out. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Okay. <laughs> guys, guys, please, <laughs> please, babe. So we are back here again for the second day, second show. Now, the first row looks like some repeat offenders from yesterday. Um, that's a little disheartening. Beyond the first row, I believe everything else filled in is new. So let's go check it out and see what we got. First car of the day, we have a 328 Touring. And you'll notice that it's right-hand drive. This means it's, I believe, either a British market car or an Australian market car. But either way, E36 Touring lowered on some, I believe, OEM BBS wheels. This thing is super clean, super simple. You guys know what I'm gonna say. It doesn't take a whole lot to make a European car nice. All right, next up, we have a Mark 7 GTI. You'll notice it's lowered on some Advan TC3s, paint match stickers, drilled and slotted rotors. By far the craziest thing about this car is the interior. There's some sort of restitching going on. I look to see if they're just seat covers, some sort of special edition seat maybe in here or just aftermarket reupholstered, but it doesn't take much, dude. I like it. I'm here with William. I believe this is his Mark 7 GTI. It's a Mark 7 and a half. It's 2019. It's a okay. facelift, the facelift GTI. It's actually a rabbit edition. Okay. Um, I was curious about the seats. That was the main thing that pulled me over here. Obviously, the TC3s are super nice, but seeing the interior on this was, was what got me. What, what's going on? Okay, I'm a JDM guy at heart. Okay. What I wanted to do is get, pull some of the 90s. So it's, it's a wrist to um, Crayola Recaro material I like that I got it. from Japan. Yes, sir. That I basically, that instead of putting racing seats in it, mm -hmm. the stock seats are really comfortable. So I just went ahead and had them just redone with, the, with that, that material inside That's to kind of tie the car together to kind of give it a, with, with my tag. If you look at my tag, it says JDM Euro. I like so it. I try to kind of mix that I up like a little it. bit. And the TC3s make sense with that as well? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and I just, it looks like a modern confetti Recaro almost. A little yeah. bit different, um, um, they, but... It was called uh, the Crayola was actually the Crayola. pattern. Because the confetti was more of a dark black with some of the colors. Yes, where the, uh, the, where the Arista pattern... Um, they did it with a called a, uh, a Crayola, which mm -hmm. has all the different pastel colors. I liked it because I thought it popped with the car. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it takes little details like that. You don't need to go crazy with the wrap or anything. The color is beautiful. So I love this thing a lot, man. I appreciate your time. Appreciate it, man. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, this is where it gets a little cash and grabby, bro. Like, I don't know how this made it inside, to be honest with you. I think it was like $40 to sign up for this show, right? I think bro should have taken the $40 and put it back into the car instead of entering the show. You know what I'm saying? Like wrap the hood, maybe fix the side skirt, maybe polish the headlights. You know, it's just like, how are you gonna enter the show like this and have 40 less dollars, you know? So crazy. We're here with a beautiful silver Mark IV R32 lowered on some Ankies. There are tiny little details throughout this car, whether it's the blue calipers, there's some pinstriping going on in the passenger seat, the license plate frame, the blue and silver across this entire car, when they start, 
as a nicer car from the factory like this, it just doesn't take a whole lot to make it nice. So beautiful little OEM plus Mark IV. Hope you guys like it too. We are here with a 1982 Rabbit pickup. Beautiful green, lowered on some Ronald turbo wheels. If you know, you know. This thing has been completely restored. A beautiful tan interior on this green, a bed cover. I've always loved these little trucks. I've thought about getting them. They might all be diesel, couldn't tell you. But either way, I love this little thing. I'm here with Mark and his Saab, is it a Sonnet? Sonnet 3. Sonnet three. Yep. I have never seen one of these in my life. I've seen a lot of cars, I've never seen one of these. How that, did you that, come that, up? That's one of the two responses I always get. Okay. What is it? Or I haven't seen one of those in 30 years. I believe it. <laughs> yeah, well I'm not 30, so yeah. I haven't seen one, period. was always enamored with this model because, to be honest, it reminded me of some of the Hot Wheels cars I had as a kid. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and when I was in high school, I always thought, oh man, I want to own a Datsun 240Z. It, I was going to say, it looks like a 240 or a 260, even right. a 280. So, uh, I got really Really interested in these asked my dad to go take a look at it and uh, the guy had a good deal on it I got it for about 4,500 nice. and awesome. had it about 10 years now so that's yeah. awesome do you take this thing out on the weekends have you taken yeah. on any trips or is yeah. it just show car um, I wouldn't take it probably on uh, long trips because uh, just you know if I broke down somewhere you're not gonna find a lot of people that might be able to work on it, it in makes that sense. spot yeah so it's more of a weekend car thank you very much that's why I enjoy bringing it out to shows like this. I love it. I love it. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Bro, furries freak me out. I'm not even going to lie. Like some of the cars we've seen, I don't get it. I don't get it. Not my hobby. Not my scene. I don't know if he's just going to, like, start shitting somewhere. You know? Start humping something. <laughs> I just, just tend to stay away. So We're here with two beautiful E34s. The first one is a 520i automatic sedan. Beautiful silver. Lowered on some OEM BMW wheels. The second, uh, we have a 540i E34 Touring manual. This is everything that my wagon wished it was. Uh, running and driving, one piece, manual transmission. It's on some, I think like E88 reps. It looks good, all right? Regardless of the brand, it looks good on here. Beautiful red and um, yeah, two cool E34s. We are here with an Audi S3. I'm liking the livery on this thing. It's unique. Uh, once again, shout out to Matt at Camel City Wraps. Yet another car spotted done by him. But this is just a cool little car, man. S3s are really fun out of the box. So to lower it, get some wheels, get a livery, just have fun with it. It's all you need to do. This thing's sweet. We are here with Caleb's A6 All Road. Unfortunately, he's on the stockies this afternoon because he debuted. I think on the way up here. But y'all have seen this car before. I love it to death. Obviously, it looks cooler with the wheels on here. Shield tint, I am the biggest advocate of windshield tint ever. You cannot see inside this thing and it looks baller as hell. Behind me, we have Tim's Cayenne GTS. This is the ultimate two car solution. Lifted, I think there's like a four to six inch lift on this thing, most likely a Eurowise lift on the rotiform wheels. And we got inside peanut butter, outside silver, not jelly, but Cayenne GTS, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. We're here with Graffiti Saab. I've never seen anything like this in my life. At first, we, we thought it was chalk. Uh, it's lowered on what looks like some Rota grids. It just says Saab like 1,400 different times around it. We've got a Corbo bucket seat. We've got an NRG seat. We've got a roof rack. The back here is graffitied as well. I just, bro, with like a lot of these cars, a lot of different boomer cars and stuff, I just don't, I just don't understand it. There's some shit wrapped in the engine bay and painted and just like this thing looked better off the showroom floor you know what i'm saying just confused man i'm just confused if you made it to this point in the video once again i appreciate you so much uh quick shameless plug shout out moonstruck moonstruck design on instagram like i said crew necks air fresheners stickers t-shirts whole bunch of cool shit coming super super soon march 15th is going to be the release day um, all that info will be posted on the instagram i had a fun time today i think i like the contents of the the show today more than yesterday's show once again if you haven't seen that video go check it out um there were definitely just more characters in yesterday's video a couple today for sure but uh yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace